do you think that industry-wide collaboration and maybe new standardized protocols beyond DDEC uh, have a better play in order to address those issues? If we open up, open our data silos, open up uh, standards for a wider audience. You still need to have a means to map what you mean by X to what you mean by X. Um, you need to have some place where this mapping happens. Um, now, we can develop different bodies to do that for different bits. I don't think that that is particularly helpful. Um, I think it's, it's better to do this in one place. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to, no, I'm not happy, but I'm ready to acknowledge that some companies use the user-defined values way too much. Um, they provide a user-defined term for an instrument called guitar. Well, there is a value for guitar in the system, so they ought to use that, absolutely. Um, but that again goes back to what I said at the beginning. The music industry is good at making standards, but not at adhering to those standards. Where, where the ingesters come in play then, they may very well want to um, consider rejecting these kind of messages. Hey, there you put in guitar there, a user-defined value of guitar, whereas there is already a value guitar, this is clearly not a, a sensible uh, way to make business. Um, but you still need to have this, this coordination somewhere. You know who can reject standards? Apple, Spotify, Deezer, everyone else has to eat them. There is no easy way to tell a customer, nope, we won't take your catalog because it has too many problems. So all the effort does fall on those groups that are in the, in, in the trenches bringing and cleaning and, and managing these, these, these catalogs across the board with DDAC. So it, it is a really um, a factor of who can dictate what can and cannot be given to them. Um, and honestly, you know, we, when we opened up our API infrastructure, uh, we had 20% of our customers start to jump to our APIs because they were easy and they're simplistic and they give up all the same detail that a, a DDEX message gives, but it's you know easy for a 22-year-old coming out of a computer science program to easily understand even if they know nothing about the music industry. And we're, we're going to see that number grow to 50% and hopefully more because end of the day, DDEX is important when you're communicating potentially with new partners, but we found once we've established relationships with our partners, it's far easier to communicate over uh, a, a, a standard that might be deviating from just the DDEX message. And standards, as we all know in this industry, are set by those platforms that are the most used, the most in demand. And uh, you know, as we evolve, we are looking to make sure that we support all forms, whether it's DDEX, whether it's JSON. Uh, I think it's all about being able to communicate between one another and not waiting until something materializes that meets your needs, otherwise it breaks the standard. And if, if the standard is broken, and if it's not adhered to, what is the point of the standard? 